Hey tank mates, Wes with Divine Aquariums, bringing you another COVID-19 update. The hornwort has taken over. The problem is, is I got fish and shrimp in there, so I may have to just cut some small pieces off. But um, it is now June. Haven't been here since March. I've only been here one time to do a huge water change. But as you can see, the algae is growing out of control. Um, and I can see that my CO2 really isn't, because remember my CO2 ran out. As you can see, my Java moss has kind of not flourished since it's not been in there, uh, the CO2 is not in there. So there's my big boy, that's my Megalodon. Even though that's a catfish, that's my Megalodon there. I'm gonna have to take him and put him in a bigger tank. Um, but I got all this algae. And this is an acrylic tank. Um, this Aquion, really, even though it's acrylic safe, it really doesn't do a good job. I think it just maintains, it doesn't scrape really well, as you can see. So, what we're gonna do, Magic Eraser, original formula. So this is gonna be kinda of hard to do. I should have opened it first. Here, look at my tank. So what I'm gonna do is put this over here. Now, um, only use the original. Now this stuff is inert, so it's not gonna harm the fish in here. So what I like to do is take my aquarium only scissors and cut a couple pieces. So I'm gonna take this and how easy this stuff comes off. I'm not even really putting any pressure on it, really. And it's coming off. Now, some of the spots I am gonna have to put pressure on, but that's no big deal. And you can see it's working, because you can see the green, white, green. So again, get it work. And I've never had any pieces fall off. So look how that comes off. Yeah. It also helps you see where the algae is too. Look at that. So I'm gonna go right here. I'm just gonna give it a couple whirls and look at that comes off really easy so really works with uh, um, acrylic tanks all right here we are at my fluval spec five gallon tank um, I've been letting it uh, go crazy with growing the algae um, for a couple of reasons main reason is to show you how well this works. I showed you my acrylic tank, but I want to show you how well it works on a, uh, um, on a glass tank. Um, this is, I don't show this tank a lot. Um, this is my beta tank or it was my beta tank, but the beta finally died. It was, it was coming. It was, you know, I think seven, eight years old. Um, so it kind of turned into my fish. I'm sorry. It kind of turned into my, um, my shrimp tank, and I just ordered uh, shrimp from uh, Shishi's Aquatics. Uh, very, uh, uh, very fast shipping. Ordered it Sunday night. It was they were here Wednesday, so I have some ghost shrimp in here. You really can't see because of the algae, and I did that on purpose. Um, I have some ghost shrimp in here, and I have some blue uh, shrimp in here too. So I'm going to take the top off of this thing and show you how well this stuff works, even with. A glass tank now normally on my other glass tanks I use you know I use pot scrubbers but when I start moving this around I splash water all over the place um, the cool thing about this is I can cut these to whatever length I want um, so one I'll, what I'm gonna do is I usually just cut where the little zigzag line is and don't worry I only use these for um, filters 
I only use them for filters, so they are fish uh, only uh, scissors. But uh, one of the cool things, and someone asked me uh, when I told them about these, is um, these are inert, so they're not. There's no chemicals in them, so it has to be Mr. Clean original. They are inert; they have no chemicals in them. If you use the bath of the kitchen, that will kill your fish because there are chemicals in here. Um, so it, they really work. Um, the other thing I like to do, and I'll show you uh, once this uh, all gets all uh, dirty, um, how you can get uh, twice as much action out of this thing. So the first things first, I'll just go in and I'll just, I'm barely touching anything. And again, here comes the algae off, right? So since it stays wet, it doesn't break apart. I like that. The other thing, since it's white, it lets me see where the algae really is. All right, so here's some brown algae, which tells me uh, you know, a couple things. Tank may start, tank might start going through a different, um, look at that. Look how well that's doing. Yeah. So there we go. I'm cleaning the tank with this. Very little effort. Very little effort. See, I'm splashing. That's okay. I'll be splashing more with the pot scrubber. Really does a good job of getting the algae. And of course, if I want, if I didn't feel like getting wet, I could just, you know, use my tool. Same thing, but I like getting my hands dirty, so to speak. So again, I should have, should have took some of the water out so it didn't overflow. So it really works with This is where you can see where this is I using my razor. I have a, a long razor that I can use. Um, I don't like using it because I'm afraid I'm going to get the fish. So that's one thing that I don't like doing. Is using that razor. I'm going to do a video on this thing. Uh, probably coming up next actually once I get this all cleaned up this was filled with uh, uh, Sagittaria so I ripped all that out so I can see my uh, shrimp a whole lot better here's one of the blue shrimp right now I don't know if you can see it Let's see if I can get in there there he is right there um, great price great shipping it was six plus one twenty two dollars uh, shipping I can't remember but again it was very fast They scared him. So right here, I had this piece a little too close. So what you can do, or when you get completely used up, um, let me, sorry, let me squeeze this out here, is cut it in half right down the middle. And look, now you have another uh, clean area. But, And now I can get in there and clean it. Still a little hard, but that's okay. Look how good this is coming up. Now, you know, my mag float works, but 
again, it's going to slosh around a lot of water, and I don't want to do that. This works, but I don't want to slosh around a lot of water. That's my whole deal why I don't use that that much. But look at it. And if I press a little harder, it comes out a lot faster. But then again, I got to be careful because I'm splashing water. Sorry, one of my dogs is trying to make a cameo. They're in the basement with me. But Magic Erase Bars, they're inert, so they work. Good way to clean your tank. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get to this um, and probably do a uh, water change with this. Also got to propagate uh, that, that plant. Uh, I, I, that's another thing I want to say. Uh, thank you to Shishi's Aquatics. Uh, they gave me one plant, which was an anacris, which is that one right there. Um, that was two weeks ago, and look how that was. I was only one. It's already sprouting off a V right there. It's gotten another one, and that two weeks ago, now it's all across the tank. So, actually, there's another sprout on the back. Uh, actually, one right there too. So, again, thank you to Shishi Aquatics, Aquatics with those shrimp, and actually, I'm gonna. Um, be doing a uh, an update with this uh, just to give you an idea um, there's ghost shrimp blue shrimp um, Malaysian trumpet snails and pond snails in here um, I, I may put a couple neons in there I haven't decided yet but um, we'll see but look at that yeah that's all my algae right there so original original magic erase bars you can use to clean the algae off. This is Wes with Divine Aquariums saying thanks for watching.